In late 2014, we were approached to build three vacuum deaerators for an oil science client in Alberta. And these were the largest vessels that we had built to date. They were vertical vessels that were 21 feet in diameter by 120 feet tall and weighed over 300 tons. The request was originally for three vessels, but they decided to pull one from another fabricator in Alberta and give us a fourth. The scope included design, fabrication and testing, painting, installation of internals, and insulation. Our biggest challenge with this project was definitely schedule. There were some delays at the beginning, which had us start and fabricate in April 2015, and we needed to have all four ready to ship by February 2016. There was over 70,000 hours in this project. If they weren't ready to ship before the road bans, the implication for our customer would be very severe. To meet this challenge, we knew we'd need to work around the clock. We had four shifts working on this constantly, days and nights on both the weekdays and weekends. We were also creative in our approach. There's a traditional way to build a vessel. You start by welding all the shells and heads together. Then you start laying out nozzles and miscellaneous connections. The problem with this approach is you're limiting your work faces, whereas only a few people could work on it at a time. We had to create sub-assemblies or many work faces in order to optimize schedule. This introduces much more risk with regards to maintaining dimensional tolerances. Once all the sub-assemblies were complete, then we started assembling them all together. The first vessel took us about 73 days to assemble all the components. In order to meet schedule, we had to assemble the remaining vessels on an average of 43 days each. By the end, we assembled the last one in 36 days. Coming together as a team on a technically challenging project like this is an uplifting experience. At the beginning, it seemed like such a daunting task, but by the end, everyone was wishing we had another four to build. This was a project that really taught us how to optimize fabrication schedules. Focusing on the constraint instead of efficiencies allows us to increase our throughput, and at the end, the result is an extremely efficient project execution. If you have a challenging fabrication timeline, Allow J&E the opportunity to be your trusted partner. Get in touch with us at www.jneweldingcom and let's talk about what we can build for you.